senior, was third in the 100 fly, fifth in the 100 back. She's been on three of the four relays. Cal's not going to lay down, though. Amy Bilkwis leads off for Cal. She was eighth. She finaled in the 100 freestyle. Probably had a little more speed than who, although who has a very good kick off the wall. And then, of course, Mallory Comerford, who was second in the 100 freestyle for Louisville in lane three. I don't think Louisville has all three legs, but certainly Comerford will give Louisville early lead. And there she is right there in lane three. Among that will be anchoring for Stan. He's been leading it off to have a shot at that 100 free record of 45 56, which he missed by nine one hundreds earlier in the game. Coming up with that game, coming 46 67. Good split for coming for a little off what she did individual, but gives a little clean water for Louisville. They'll come back now. It's really going to boil down to lanes four and five, like it has so much over the last couple of years. Cal Stanford, Cal Stanford. And I'm crazy for saying this, I guess, but right there in the pool, that's Ella Easton, MVP of the meet. She might be the most important leg here for Stanford. She's not known as this great sprinter, but she's got to keep Stanford close to give Simone Manuel a chance at the end. Abby Weitzel of Cal, the second fastest 100 freestyler ever. And he's built the lead for Cal. Hang on to Kathleen Baker. Meanwhile, he's going to hand off to Katie Craigbot. Lady Bishop of Louisville hands it off to Lorena Obenshiva. Yeah, Weitzel was third in the 100. Now, here's another important leg for Stanford and Cal. You've got two tremendous swimmers. Kathleen Baker out there in the lead. We just saw her break the American record in the 200 backstroke. She's a pretty good freestyler, though. Look at her going out there. Craigbot, more known as a 200 swimmer. She was fourth in the 200 freestyle. She was second in the 200 butterfly. She is way back. What a swim for Kathleen Baker and Cal as they try to stand Stanford, Street Stanford to take up all four previous relays. Does she have enough lead, though? Here's the key leg for Cal right now. It's Katie McLaughlin. Anchoring for Cal. Can she hold out? One of the great collegiate sprinters in history. And there's Simone Manuel. Cal under American record pace. Simone Manuel trying to chase down Katie McLaughlin. There she comes. Very patient. Don't do it all in the last. On the first 50, she says. Keep it together. Gordon doing the job too. Look at her. She's breathing right into Simone Manuel. They're going to flip it. This wall dead. Even right there together with this Simone Manuel. Had enough now to go by her. She does. She Here does. Goes. And Stanford has passed Cal. That ball will never Stanford. 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 11 one hundreds. <laughs> 13 wins ties the NCAA record for one meet, and the Stanford Cardinal sweeps all five relays. You think he's going to miss her? <laughs> wow. You think? You think? 45 4. There he is. Look at Greg Mead. Guys, go back to Greg Mead if you can because he's in tears. There he is right there. He's in tears. He just can't believe it. I think he realizes how important that race not only was for Stanford. He's stepping away to gather himself. And there's one who's all smiles. And Katie McLaughlin, give her some incredible credit. Rich. I mean, she did everything. Everything she could, 46 plus at the end for her. You couldn't ask more from this incredible swimmer, Katie McLaughlin. Just hold up the, junior. the fastest 100 yard freestyle on the planet. And she yeah. almost did it. Yeah. She almost did it. 11 one hundredths of a second away. Great, great relay for all those cow swimmers. No question about it. Bilquis, Weitzel, Baker, McLaughlin. Here's the halfway point right there. You knew that Abby Weitzel, third in the 100, was going to give that lead to Cal. And then Kathleen Baker, you've seen her do it over and over again in her three years at Cal, but in backstroke, the IM. Well, she did it in freestyle here. There's McLaughlin on the left, though. Doing as much as she could to try to hang in there. There's the 
McLaughlin going off. And last wall, there she is. She catches her. But McLaughlin comes back. McLaughlin comes back. Manuel took the lead, didn't she, Rich? She, she did, took just it. briefly. Here's the last wall again. Watch the last wall. She took the lead right about there. She takes the lead. Keep it there. Keep it there. And then McLaughlin comes back. I thought McLaughlin might come back on her. But no. <laughs> 11-100s, yep. Yeah. Simone Manuel bringing it home for the Stanford Cardinal as they tie the record with 13 wins in one meet. And Danielle is with the champion. Yeah, guys, and there is just so much emotion. Coach Greg is crying tears of joy over here. Look at the girls here. Look at this emotion. The tears are flowing. What is the emotion you're feeling? We've just accomplished amazing things together and they're my very best friends and we couldn't ask for anything better. Simone, do you have anything left in the tank after that one? Um, I just wanted to give all I had. Um, this team has given me so much, so I just wanted to give it right back in that swim. Um, and finishing off with the first place, um, that's like the perfect senior moment. Can't think of a better way to close it out, guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.